my brothers and my sisters in Christ is your boy <laughs> I want to pick up my parents tonight from the airport and I'm gonna go with my sister it's been a long time since all four of us were in the same place at the same time and hopefully there will be many more opportunities for us to do this as a family it's hard man it's hard <laughs> when you're a filthy immigrant no i shouldn't say that <laughs> when you're an immigrant and you're moving away from your roots establishing yourself in a foreign land actually i shouldn't even have that sort of mindset I think of myself more in terms of a cosmopolitan rather than a Vietnamese or an, an Australian. It's very tribalistic, you know, when you identify with one of these, I don't know, tribes, affiliation, organization. I don't know. I don't like labels. I've never been a label person. There's some pride in me. There's some sort of patriotism. I can call myself a Vietnamese. I can speak two languages. There's some sort of pride within me when I identify with either culture. I don't know, is that necessarily a bad thing when you can say with confidence that, hey, I am proud of being one of these people you know, the Asian people, the Asian race. <laughs> or, I'm proud to be an Australian, even though technically my vote doesn't count. By the way, guys, I cannot talk about politics. I cannot, I simply cannot talk about my opinions. You guys already know what I do for a living. I've already established myself. I cannot... I simply cannot talk about my interest, you know? I simply cannot. I simply cannot be negative either. Even though there are negative things in the world, I cannot say it. Just know that there are negative things, okay? I cannot say them. Just know that. But there are also beautiful, positive things. Where am I going with this video? Yeah, I'm going to pick up my parents from the airport. All four of us are going to be together. Once again, like childhood um, we won't have a lot of these opportunities the older my parents get hopefully they will live to see my grandchildren and my grand um, my sisters well hopefully they they'll get to see my children first um, let's worry about grandchildren <laughs> when we get there hopefully my remaining grandparents will see my children fuck man we're getting old we're getting old everybody's getting old time keeps time keeps on rolling it never stops man i also have bible study tonight but i can't i have to pick up my parents my mom my dad they aren't really Christian my sister she went to church with me but then she sort of left and now she's she's sort of I don't know I don't even know what she is she's been involved in all that astrology stuff and tarot card reading she has a dream catcher in her room Man, I shouldn't be talking too much about this. She probably doesn't want me to be talking about this. It's her choice, after all. Yeah, even my parents, my family, they they don't really believe in God. My dad, he's sort of a Buddhist. Not really. He just meditates. <laughs> <laughs> That's what most people do anyways. Meditate. Which is a good thing. Man, I sound so judgmental right now without even saying anything. So what? 
I have an exam on Thursday, a Bible study exam. <laughs> I'm thinking about the the necessity of this exam. Even what is even the point of testing our knowledge on God? Man, if I fail this exam, I fail salvation. I won't even be saved anymore. <laughs> <laughs> man, you failed the exam. God is not gonna save you, man. <laughs> I haven't studied. I haven't studied. I've I've been studying the Bible for four months now. Then there is an exam coming up, and apparently it's very important. Um, that's what the teachers told me. You need to be sealed with the word of God, man. If I fail this exam, I guess I'll go to hell, man. <laughs> man, I shouldn't say this. I shouldn't say this. This is not good. Don't look up to me as a role model. This is not the way Christians do it. To be honest. I'm struggling, man. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with my identity. I guess I'm a lukewarm Christian. I will never be truly involved in any sort of organization. It's hard. It's so freaking hard. Even at work, there is not a single clear cut identity, yo. It's so hard to fit in with the Vietnamese people. And it's so freaking hard to fit in with the Australian people. What even am I? You see, in my mind, I will never be truly at peace, you know, because I've, I, I will never truly fit in. But I want to fit in. I want to fit in, but I can't. I can't. To the Vietnamese people, I am a whitewashed Asian man who has lost touch with his roots, who's been away from his homeland for way too long, who can't even, even speak the language properly, understanding the slang, understanding the culture. What does it take for me to lose all of this? 10 plus years. <laughs> and I can't even fit in with the Australian people. My accent, it's, a, it's atrocious. It's not even a, an Australian accent. It's a mixture. I can't even speak English properly. I, my English is pretty bad sometimes. I forget about grammar sometimes. I don't know. And the culture as well, I don't fit in. Am I a Christian? Why am I thinking these thoughts? Why am I doubting God? <laughs> Why am I thinking about this? Am I going to fail salvation if I fail this exam? What is even the point of this exam, yeah? Why am I even studying the Bible and why am I taking this so seriously? And then yet also I'm not taking this seriously enough. But I'm not an atheist either. <laughs> Even though my thoughts are very atheistic. It's so nihilistic, man. There's no purpose. And yet I also want to have a purpose. There's a real dile dilemma within my mind right now. Really dark thoughts. But I'm functioning well. Hopefully, at the sight of my parents, I will feel that connection again. Connection to my roots. Hopefully I can integrate all of this into my life and reconcile with all of these different affiliations. My job title, who I am as a person. I've, I've talked about this before. You shouldn't really swear allegiance to earn any of these identities. You should be your own person because that's who you are. You are a unique, one-of-a-kind individual. God created you in his image, sure. But you are your own person, you know? God created everybody as their own person, with their own quirks, 
idiosyncrasies. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Anyways, if you're still watching, stay strong. God bless. Don't take everything I say into heart. I am just sharing my thoughts. It's going to be different tomorrow. It's going to be different in another week. This is how I think at the moment. And sure, there are bad things in the world, but I cannot say it, man. I cannot say it. I simply cannot. If I say it, there will be consequences. I can't say it, man. I cannot say it. Anyway, stay strong. God bless. I love you all. And until next time, peace.